2014 Jeep Compass. So today I'm gonna be replacing the rear wheel hub assembly, which is this one right here. So I got my wheel taken out, my jack and jack stands right here. So I'm having a little bit of trouble removing the drum. So you can see it's stuck in there. It's already broken free from here, but the uh, shoes or the parking brake inside is holding the road, the, the shoes in there so it won't come off. But you can go over here which I'll turn on the light. So if you look in the back right here, you have this rubber piece that you pry it off. You can see that you can adjust it right there. You can adjust the parking brake and the shoes. So you can release the drums. Uh, but in this case, I'm trying to turn it with a flathead screwdriver, but it's stuck. It's not turning at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and look in the back right here. have uh, your sensor take the sensor off it's a 10 millimeter and then I don't know if you guys can see you have these two bolts right here we're gonna take them out and these two bolts I'm just gonna go ahead and take those off and the whole thing should come off then we can go ahead and mess with the uh, shoe let's just go ahead and do that Alright, so the, I got the uh, so I got the 10 millimeter out the speed sensor. Uh, take those two off right here, and these two they are 17 millimeter. So you should have enough room for your ratchet and an extension. Go from the back right here. Take those four bolts off. Um, if your drums are not stuck like mine, go ahead and remove your drums first. Then you can remove the bearing. It'll make it easier for you. But in my case, this is stuck right here, so this is why I'm doing it this way. Alright guys, so right after I took those four bolts off right here, as you can see I got more room here. Make sure you support it with something so you don't damage your brake line. So I got more room to, uh, to adjust the parking brake right here. So what you want to do is you want to spin it like this, not down. You want to twist it up. So once I twisted that up, I was able to separate the, the drum much easier. Let me go ahead and take this whole thing out first and I'll show you guys what to do next. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull the bearing out. It might be a little bit stuck, but you can hammer it out if you want. There we go. It's out. Also, this one's going to come off. This one goes in the back right here. So make sure you don't forget to put this back on first before you put your bolts back on. So the new bearing just slides in here like this. Uh, then you put this right behind that. And then you just kind of align it uh, with one bolt first and then you can put the next one. Uh, make sure you hand tie it first. Then you can go in the back and tighten everything up. Don't forget your sensor also. Make sure you clean all this out with the brake cleaner. Um, and that's it guys, pretty simple job. Uh, the hardest part is this one getting stuck, but like I said, you can go from back here. Uh, if you're having trouble adjusting it, from back here, you can do what I do, which is I remove all four bolts first. Then that gave me more room to adjust the uh, this one right here, parking brake adjuster. And that's it guys, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys got any questions, comment below. Give me a thumbs up, clicking the subscribe button also. And again, thanks for watching.